I made this large knife from a cheese spreader and the smaller knife from a scrap piece of metal. I created this custom leather sheath for these knives. I used this cheese spreader knife. I removed the handle and put it in vice grips so I could hold it still while I ground, down, ground it down with my Dremel. This was the other knife. It was a piece of metal that had a round end to it. I thought it would look nice as a hilt. This being an older project, I didn't take any progress pictures, but when I was finished with the knife, I tried to make a handle out of this moldable plastic you warm up with hot water. I didn't, I never liked the way it turned out. I always wanted to redo it. This stuff was hard to work with, and I didn't like the way it turned out. The smaller knife didn't turn out any better than the bigger one. I designed the scabbard to hold both of the knives, and it has a leg strap that I made, used the old uh, belt to create. After removing the cl crappy plastic handles, I cut a piece off this decorative brass hinge for the handguard. I didn't want the handguard to be very big, so I cut the very tip of this brass hinge off and widened it with a file. After I got it wide enough, it slipped right onto the tang. I super glued pieces of popsicle stick to the metal. I spent a lot of time carving and sanding it down to shape. And when finished, I colored the handle with uh, fire, like I've shown you before in the uh, other video. We can... I think it turned out pretty nice. There was a little bit of gap between the handguard and the knife, but overall I like the way it turned out. It turned out much better. Very clean looking. In a future video, if I could find another cheese spreader knife, I'll, have, I'll show you how to make one of these. It wasn't really that difficult. I like the way it turned out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. In a future video, I'll be sure to make a tutorial on how to make these uh, these knives out of cheese spreaders. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and click that like button. It really helps the channel out. Thanks for watching. And again, don't forget to collect, inspire, and create. Till the next one.